Hey guys, it's bro, you whack, and we're here on studio, living it large like an all-star, living it with all the stars in Hollywood, with the PDW, with the ghost camo, and I got the three kill streaks, the stout chopper V set, and the dogs, and whenever I run the dogs, I feel like I won't ever get it, but sometimes, you just so happen to use the PDW and get a double dog in this game, so I get two of my puppies in this gameplay, but we're just going to be showing the first half of this gameplay, and then part of the second half, because the rest of the game, I just, I was dying a lot so I just want to show you the meat and potatoes of this gameplay but the reason why I'm showing you this studio gameplay is because I wanted to talk about remaking maps revamping maps because uh, Black Ops 2 was the first to bring back an older map but, but we have seen that quality before bringing back an older map but we've never seen a revamping and co making cosmetic effects to an older map uh, Infinity War was the first to do this in Modern Warfare 2 they brought back what was it, Crash from Call of Duty 4? They didn't do anything with it, they just pretty much copy, paste, boom, one over for three, in a DLC, here it is, but you gotta buy it. And, you know, that a lot of people actually did like that, I guess. I didn't play Modern Warfare 2 DLC a lot, but I guess a lot of people did like that, bringing back an older map. And then Black Ops 1 came along, and they didn't bring back any older maps. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 came along, they brought back, what was it, Terminal. And then Black Ops 2, they brought back actually five maps. Right away, Nuketown 2025. And then they brought back, what was what was the order? Actually, Fire and Range, which was Studio. And then Summit Uplink, which was Summit from Black Ops 1. Uh, Dig, which was Courtyard from Winter War. And then Takeoff, which was Stadia from Black Ops 1. And me, personally, I really like how Black Ops 2 brought back some older maps. But they just didn't copy and paste it. No, they added colors. They remade it. They kind of made it look like a new map, but still play like an older map like we all know and love. One of my favorite maps from Black Ops 1 was Stadium. I just loved it. I loved the flow. It was colorful somewhat. It was colorful for a Black Ops 1 map, but it flowed really well. It was good for S&D, Domination, uh, Team Deathmatch. It was all good for different kinds of game modes. And, you know, Black Ops, not a lot of people play Black Ops 1, and Stadium isn't really a played map in Black Ops 1. And since they did bring it back into Black Ops 2 so that everyone could play for the DLC, I really did like that. I really liked how they brought back one of my favorite maps now i know they just didn't do it for me it's like yo you know bro you act like stadium why don't, we, why don't we just bring back stadium from him but uh i i honestly did like how they brought back a stadium a courtyard i didn't really play a lot in world of war but it was somewhat of a new map and i just gotta say the final map pack i guess a lot of people really didn't like that there were two re remade maps but honestly they weren't bad maps i really did like stadium that was one of my favorite maps i guess courtyard it wasn't a bad map but it was an amazing map but I guess people were mad that they brought back some of the older maps but honestly I really do like when Call of Duty remakes the map well actually just Black Ops 2 is the only one that's remade maps from the older Call of Duties but I really do like it it's it feels like a new map it looks like a new map but as terms of playing it it still feels like the old map that we played in the older Call of Duties uh, well studio still plays like fire range but it looks like a completely different map honestly if I went into studio if and I didn't know that it was fire range it would take me a while to find out oh wait 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 this is fire range from black ops 1 oh god it's like freaking oh my god this is crazy it's all craziness but I, I honestly do like when Treyarch remakes the maps and bring it into black ops 2 so since Treyarch did do that for Black Ops 2, and since Call of Duty Ghost is coming out, I wonder if Call of Duty Ghost and Infinity Ward and Activision is going to do the same thing for Call of Duty Ghost. I wonder if they're going to bring back some Modern Warfare 3 maps and revamp them. What I would like to see, and this is totally my opinion, somehow I find a favorite map in Modern Warfare 3. Crazy, right? But I would really, really like to see them bring back Resistance or Interchange or Mission and remake it, make it way way more colorful not make it look so bleak and boring just make it really really colorful like Treyarch did in Black Ops 2 and it's I know that's something you don't really want to hear in Phoenix where it's like oh oh you want us to do it like Treyarch did oh they want us to do everything like how Treyarch did but I really did like what Treyarch did with the maps remaking it here we're in the second half and it's actually about to end so I quickly ended by saying I really did like how they brought back some of the older uh, Treyarch games and remade them and not a lot of people did but I feel like a majority of people really did like it but I want to ask you guys the same question did you like Treyarch bringing back the older maps and remaking them 
And one of the other questions I would like you guys to answer in the comments below is what Infinity Ward maps would you like to see return in Call of Duty Ghosts and be remade? Specifically try to stay in the Modern Warfare 3 area era because that's the latest Infinity Ward game, but we'll just have to see. I would really like to see a Resistance or Interchange Bree brought back in Call of Duty Ghosts, but I want to hear you guys' opinion. I'll see you guys later and bye.